Hey everybody, back here again with another review, and today I will be doing a review on the Spider-Man 3, um, 2-pack of the Symbiont Venom and Spider-Man. Um, so, you know, let's get into it now. I guess we'll first review Spider-Man. Um, I'm not too sure what to say about this figure. I mean, it's nice, but, um, I have, like, the, um, Spider-Man that came by himself. Uh, he has more articulation, looks better, but I mean, this one is, you know, he's okay, I guess. Um, his paint's alright, you know, decent. The sculpt is, you know, okay, you know, you can feel the lines and everything sculpted in there. And, um, well, I mean, the only problem I have with the sculpt is his arms, because all they do is lists. Really, well, I mean, this arm can move his elbow, but I mean, this doesn't really move. Um, you know, it just is in this pose, mostly you can move it back and forth, but it doesn't move much. Uh, as for articulation, his head moves up, and barely, not even really down. This arm goes up, same thing with this one, but this arm is different because it has one more point of articulation. This one, uh, er, his leg moves out about that much. Oh, and he has a waist joint here. Forgot to mention that. Double jointed knee, which is nice. Um, his foot moves up and down and side to side. So, there's Spider-Man. And, the, my, I think, I like this figure more. Um, the Venom. There's not too much to talk about. It's just mainly for the paint. Just black. I mean, that's it. The sculpt is... I I do like the sculpt. I mean, it's just a bunch of tentacles. You know, the symbiote just going crazy at the end of the movie. Um, I wish we got to see more of that venom. You know? And he did come with this, like, black ooze. Which, um, it came in a container and you would put it in. You would take this out. Put it in there. And then kind of like squeeze it out with this. Put my guy in there. And then would like come out of his mouth. Um, that was actually pretty cool, but I mean, it didn't really last much because, um, I did it like right when we got him. And, um, it was cool, but I mean, it didn't last too long. You only got like a container that was like that big. And, um,. Yeah, they did it with the, another Venom figure. Um, same thing, only you came with this, like, Venom mouth. Um, if I can find it here. But, I mean, yeah, here it is. This is what it was. It was just this, um, this thing. No, I don't know, it was kind of weird looking. But, I don't know, maybe put it like that, it might look cool. I don't know, do I really want the two Venoms and Spider-Mans? But, uh, overall, do I recommend this set? I wouldn't recommend it to a high collectible collector. But, I mean, I would just get it for the Venom, honestly. The, like, it looks really cool on the shelf. He just looks a lot better, in my opinion. But, at the same time, the Spider-Man is okay. It's just kind of his arm articulation that ruins it for me. But, they're not bad figures at all. I mean, they're decent. They're okay quality, I guess, what is it you would call them. Um, I guess if you wanted to do, as I was comparing them, uh, compare them to another Spider-Man 3 character, the same man. Um, and then Larry is compared to Spider-Man, and uh, compared to Venom. Um, they're actually kind of the same height Spider-Man and Venom, but Venom's a bit bigger. I think Venom should have at least been about that bigger, or that big, but, uh, yeah, so overall, I do like the set, but I like having Venom more, um, so, I uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, whatever you like to do, and as always, peace out.